Hey there everybody, Chef Todd Fisher here in the kitchen on the beautiful Monterey Peninsula. Today we're going to put together a fantastic Fresh Express salad using their artisanal line. It's the Wild Rocket Zest. It's a very vibrant blend of arugula and spinach and a few other lettuces that adds a lot to a great salad. Uh, we're also going to do a little toasted quinoa, some smoked pecans, and a nice fresh blistered cranberry vinaigrette. All right, let's get started on those smoked pecans. Um, again, it's a, it's a very simple concept. We're just going to take a little dried New Mexico chili, a little uh, citrus, in this case limes, some cinnamon sticks that we've kind of broken and dropped in here, a little bit of uh, red onion that's in there as well. I've actually dropped some fresh cranberries in there because I have them and they're part of the, the, the recipe and the vinaigrette. So it's just a nice way to get this whole process start, you know, get all those flavors incorporated onto the nuts. Then we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of granulated sugar over the top. And that just begins the caramelization process, kind of as our vessel to start everything quickly caramelizing, not having to wait until the, the natural sugars of the onion break down and caramelize. We're going to then take our pecans, and these are just pecan halves, uh, beautiful pecan halves, skin on, nothing really done to them. We're going to drop those in there in a perforated pan. Now again, I'm using just a real simple uh, hotel chafing insert and a, and a perforated pan that drops in there. We're going to take a lid, set that on there, crank this thing up. Give it about six to eight minutes of really intense smoke, and uh, when we and then let them sit for about 20 minutes, just so that and turn it off, let it sit for 20 minutes, so that that smoke just kind of resonates on the nuts. Uh, and when you do this, because of the the effort that goes into it, I really suggest you do a pound, half a pound. That way you have a little extra. You won't use them on the salad. You got a little something you can throw out for friends when they show up uh, and during the holidays they come over unexpected all the time. All right. So to start our vinaigrette, we just need to clean up a shallot, and we're going to take about a half of a shallot um, and mince that up really really nice not doesn't have to be really fine because we are going to saute it a little bit with the cranberries and stuff so it doesn't have to be a fine mince but we do want to, we don't want to add too much texture to the salad by having chunks of uh, the shallot in there um, as we do that we're just going to take the shallot turn it a couple of times run the blade through it the vinaigrette itself is based around fresh cranberries again beautiful in season, you know, we don't have them all year round, so when we do have them, might as well utilize those fantastic little morsels of juicy flavor. We want to dice that, mince that up, get that ready. I've already got a little bit of garlic minced for it. Just run through one more time. All right, so we're just gonna, we've got a nice hot saute pan already working here. We're gonna put in a little bit of olive oil, about two tablespoons. I've got, it's already hot, so, and again, it's olive oil, so it doesn't need a lot, it doesn't have a high smoke point, we don't want it to get too hot. So once we've got those shallots starting to just get a little translucent and sauteed in that olive oil, I've also got some chopped garlic that I want to put in there. About a, a good, healthy tablespoon of chopped garlic. This is an incredibly simple vinaigrette. It it's really boils down to uh, five ingredients, and that includes salt and pepper. So once we've got the garlic in there, we don't want it to really toast, we just want to kind of perfume our oil. We're going to take our fresh cranberries and drop those in and let those blister. We're putting in about a cup of fresh cranberries. Now that does take two to three minutes to kind of blister those cranberries on high heat. And again, if you can hear that, you start to hear the, you'll hear the sizzle increase because the, blister, the berries start to burst from the heat. And that's what we want. We want to, once about a third of them have burst, we want to work in we want to then deglaze the pan, get anything, any sugars that have caramelized on the pan off with some red wine vinegar. We're going to add a little more olive oil to it and salt and pepper and that's it. It's a, it's a finished vinaigrette. So as you, as you can see there, the, the cranberries themselves have actually started to burst. They're starting to blister. All that moisture that's trapped inside that little tiny berry just wants out. It wants to, wants to just flavor our vinaigrette and be so sweet and delicious and tart and pungent. So I'm going to take a little red wine vinegar and just deglaze our pan. Stir that around just a little bit. Let that come back to a boil. In goes a little bit of our salt. Add some nice grinds of fresh cracked black pepper. And as that, now it's come back to a boil. As that sits, those berries are just going to get soft, tender, and really delicious to go into our salad. So they'll, they'll be there, but they won't be big chunks of cranberry getting stuck in our teeth or anything like that. We don't want to really save anything until later. We want to just get a nice clean vinaigrette. Now we need to do our toasted quinoa. You may know quinoa as the uh, super grain. 
It's the original food of superheroes. Um, one of my issues with quinoa is that it's a little bit too green and vegetative. I'm not, I'm not big on that. I want, I want it to accent my salad, not overpower my salad. The greens are supposed to be my vegetative and green flavor. So I like to toast it, about six to eight minutes in the oven. All we do is to have a lined sheet pan here. We sprinkle on our quinoa and just kind of spread it into a thin layer. Shake that up just so it's nice and loose. One even, even layer. We're gonna pop it into the oven, and again, six to eight minutes. Into the oven it goes. All right, I've got a pot of water already on for it because we want to cook it basically the same way once it comes out of the oven. We're just getting rid of that green, not so delicious, vibrant. Ugh. Okay, so now that we've got our quinoa cooked, we boiled it just like you would your standard quinoa. There's nothing special about it other than we've done the nice uh, Chef Todd toasty little thing over there, okay? But you can see the difference. Here you have this very pale, uh, lackluster quinoa. Here you have this roasted, look at all that color and flavor that you can just see in there. It looks like a toasted grain. That's what we want. We want to add that nice, roasted, nutty, toasted flavor. So, as we begin to assemble our salad, again, taking our Fresh Express artisanal lettuce, lettuces, the wild rocket zest, we're going to take a, a simple bowl, put some of our greens in there, and I love, again, I love this, the plate presentation for this. It fills the plate so nice. The arugula, all that beautiful uh, red mustard and some of the other greens in there. We're going to take a little bit of our vinaigrette that we made, those blistered cranberries, and just sprinkle that on there. And, and I'm, as I'm sitting here, it's just you can smell it. The vinegar's intense, the, uh, the extra olive oil that we added in there. But look at that beautiful color against that salad. It's just absolutely gorgeous. We're going to take a little bit of our toasted quinoa, and that gets sprinkled in there as well. And what I love about putting grains into my salad is that the vinaigrette is going to kind of help it adhere and stick to the leaves. So every bite is kind of this, you know, it's got all of the flavors packed onto one bite of the salad. After that, we take a little bit, we take a plate, uh, we're going to toss that just a touch. And it's a real simple salad, again, not, a, not too much work goes into it. You can have a lot of this stuff done ahead of time so that when your guests do arrive, hey, look at that jumper, when the guests do arrive, you're able to just kind of toss a couple of things together and you've got your either first course or a really nice healthy uh, afternoon snack. Throw a chicken breast on top of it and call it lunch. It's beautiful. This goes onto the plate. If you want to serve a little of that extra quinoa, you can too, or drill, sprinkle it over the top. But really, I think there's enough in the salad. Love the great cranberries as they pop out, just the color against those beautiful greens. We've got some of our smoked pecans here. Just going to grab a handful and kind of top that off. Crumble a few right over the top. Uh, it's just a fantastic, simple, delicious, very seasonal Fresh Express artisanal greens, the wild rocket zest with toasted quinoa, smoked pecans, and a blistered cranberry vinaigrette.